you, you've been drinking that day, right? Yeah, I had a And like, showing what's been marked is Exhibit 12A. You recognize that? Yes. That's the group photo of you, you folks from the beginning of the river? Yep. In fact, you're holding a beer? Correct. Looks like everybody in your group has some sort of alcoholic beverage. Looks like it. You see numerous people in your group with these phone cases around their necks? Yes. And as you're going down the river, you saw lots of people with phone cases around their necks, right? Mm -hmm. All day long? Yeah. In fact, um, River's Edge sells or rents out those phone cases, right? I don't know that. Did people in your group rent or buy phone cases from the tube rental? I have no skin? idea. All right. <clears throat> testified that you were told to bring the knife before you left your home, right? Correct. And the reason for bringing your knife on the river was to cut strings or ropes for the tubes, right? Correct. And that was, that was the reason you brought it. Correct. In fact, you told the police that after your tubes were tied together, you thought you put your knife back in the car. Correct? Right? Correct. But in fact, it was in your pocket? Yes. Was it in your pocket the whole day? No. All right. Well, we're going to get to that. Once the tubes are tied together with the rope, and you said that you thought that you put it back in your car, you don't have a reason to have the knife anymore, right? It accomplished its purpose, right? I didn't know that at the time. All right. Did you tell the cops, that the police, that you didn't think you were going to need it, and that's why you thought you put it in the car? I may have. All right. Uh, were you present when uh, Steve Kaufman, who owns River's Edge, testified first day of the trial? Yes. And you heard him say that they, they sell pre-cut cords for a dollar, right? Right. All right. And then, did you see in the picture... Now, when you got on the river, you were wearing that long sleeve camel shirt, right? Mm -hmm. and a hat and sunglasses? Correct. All right. Ariel's phone was in one of those, those cases, right? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I can see it. All right. And is it your understanding that those cases are float cases? That's what I was told. All right. And you told, in fact, you told Lieutenant Hart that it was in a float case, right? Correct. Once the phone disappeared, there was conversation amongst the folks in your group about whether it was even worth it to go look for it, right? That's what I learned. And in fact, you were told that they didn't care about the lost phone because they had insurance to cover it, right? That's what I learned here, but I don't remember that as a conversation. Nobody asked you to go look for the phone, right? Correct. You chose to do that on your own. I volunteered. And in fact, members of your group were a little annoyed that you were stopping again so, so quickly after having been at the hideaway where you'd stopped for lunch. Objection, speculation. Sustained. Did you hear anybody in your group say, why are we stopping again? I didn't stop the group. The group stopped when you decided to go off on your own to look for this phone, right? Speculation. Overruled. Right? They were already stopped. I got off the tube to look for the, so I didn't stop them. In any event, you're the one who insisted on looking for it. Nobody asked you to do that, right? Objection, answer, answer. Sustained. And when you left to go look for the phone, you had your goggles and your snorkel, right? You knew that the phone was in a float bag, at least that's what you told police afterwards, right? Mm -hmm. Is that a yes? Yes. So the bag, the phone, and the float bag would have been floating, right? Supposedly, yeah. All right, and so you wouldn't need a snorkel and goggles to find a, a phone flo uh, floating on top of the water, right? I wasn't sure if it was actually floating or not. and never tested it. All right, well, you would agree that a phone has some weight to it? Yes. And if it wasn't a float bag, it would sink to the bottom, right? 
Yes. Where it was dropped. Correct. Well, or remember, it's a river. So current. it could have flown down. The river has current, right? Right. So you have could have approach, I'm going to draw something here. Yes. Now you remember when you met with Lieutenant Hart, you drew a diagram of the river. All right, and this is your group up here at the sandbar, right? Mm -hmm. This is the boys group down here. And I'll put initials IS for Isaac Schumann, right? Correct. And this is what you. This is the diagram that you wrote, mm -hmm. drew for uh, Lieutenant Hart. The phone was lost over here, right? Mm -hmm. Instead of looking downstream for it where the current was going, you went this way, across the current. No. To look for the phone. You made contact with Isaac Schumann's group on the other side of the river. But that's, that's, that's not where I started looking for it, straight across the river. That's where you ended up making contact with I it. I ended up there, but I didn't start there. All right. The phone would not have floated across the current, right? Well, I don't know where he lost it. That's where we pulled over. He could have lost it uh, minutes before we even uh, anchored. So when you testified a minute ago that the phone was lost, where your group was labeled M, now you're changing that story? In that vicinity. Again, uh, members of the jury, what the attorneys say is not evidence. Rely on the witness's testimony. Next question, please. In any of the event, it's your testimony that you had reason to go over to the south side of the river where Isaac Schumann's group was. to look for a phone. That's your story? I had reason to search in that area. I didn't know where that phone fell in the water. I don't think even Ariel knew where he lost it. We didn't drop the phone when we anchored. We dropped the, he dropped the phone before we got there. Fair to say that at that point in the river, the river is 150 feet wide? Yep. And Isaac Schumann's group was on the south side of the river? Correct. Your group's on the north side of the river? 100 feet. Rather than searching the north side, you went to the south side of the river. Is that fair to say? I already looked in, the, in that area. That's not what I'm asking. You went over to the south side of the river, right? Question asked and answered. Overruled. You can answer the question. You did, right? What was that question? Again? You went over to the south side of the river to supposedly look for this phone, right? I ended up there at that point, yes. And you chose to go over there and look for it, where these boys were. Asked and answered. Overruled. You can answer the question. Oh. You chose to go over to where these boys were to look for, supposedly look for this phone, right? I chose to look in that area, yes. There was other areas of the river where there was, these boys weren't located that you could have searched until they floated past. past. Right? A million other spots. Sure, but you chose to go to that spot. I didn't even notice those boys there at the time when I was searching. You were present in court when Eric Williams, who was a member of your group, testified, right? Right. You heard him testify? Yes. And you were here when he testified that he had some concerns about you going over to snorkel by this group, Isaac's group? I heard him. And one of his concerns is that you thought that they would think you were a predator, Objection right? irrelevant. Sustained. You testified that you didn't have your knife in your pocket the whole time, right? Correct. When you decided to do a snorkel over by Isaac Schumann's group, you had the knife in your pocket. Yes. Did you go back to your group and get it? No, I had the knife. I testified I did not have the knife in my pocket the whole time. When we pulled over there, I fixed my shoes. Then I left it in my pocket. All right, but somehow, so when you get ready to snorkel, Yes. You've got, you've taken off your shirt, right? Yes. Your hat. Yes. Your sunglasses. Correct. You left the knife in your pocket. I forgot it in my pocket. Well, on the video, we can see you touching your knife, 
Right. You knew it was in your pocket. Well, when you walk, it starts, yeah, but... It has weight, right? right? Yeah. So you, you can't forget it's there because it's got weight. Correct? At some point, I forgot I had it in my pocket when, yeah, you when you walk. Gonna, you were not going to need your knife to snorkel and look for a lost phone. Correct. Overruled. You weren't, you weren't going to need your knife for that, for that task that you set out to do, right? I wouldn't even need anything. But you brought it with you anyhow. It happened to be in my pocket, yes. When she got over to where Isaac Schumann's group was, they made it readily apparent they did not want you over by them, correct? That's not true. They didn't call you names? Yes, but they, they asked me what I was looking for. And I thought they were polite people. I said, I'm looking for my uh, lost phone. They, they did not want you by them, and they told you that, right? At some point, yes. And that's the short video. You turn around, and you're walking away, right? Yes. But then Juan Cockfield calls you a raper, right? Yes. And then you turn around. Yes. And you were angry. I was not angry. Oh, you were not angry that someone called you a raper? No. All right. You look at Jawan, who's filming you, right? Yeah. And for some reason, your testimony is that even though many people on the river have these phones and these float cases, you decided that was the phone and you needed to run up and check. Objection argumentative. Sustained. Did you, your testimony earlier was you thought he had the phone, right? I thought he had the phone, yes. Right. I wanted to investigate. And you... Instead of walking up and saying, hey, is that the phone I'm looking for? You ran up on these boys, didn't you? I ran up and stumbled, and then I fell right by, by their, yes. That's my next question. You're claiming now that you stumbled. Yes. You've never said that before today, ever, to anybody, any law enforcement or anybody else. Right? But I have seen the videos now. Well, we're going to take a look at the video. And since you reviewed the video, you know that before you ran up on them, you were touching your knife in your pocket to make sure it was there, right? I don't remember that. All right, well, let's take a look. That's you with your right hand touching your pocket where your knife was clipped in, right? It appears so. <coughs> what is he on? Whoa! 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 Get away! So you're claiming today that where you reach down and grab at these boys' legs where their tubes are, that that was a stumble. Is that your story? John, argumentative. Overruled. You can answer the question. I, I, I know I hit a stone, yes. But I, I, I grabbed onto their uh, uh, inner tubes. And you know where you grabbed onto their inner tube is where two of these boys had their legs draped over their inner tubes, right? I see that. And you made contact with their legs, didn't you? I don't remember that. Did you see it on the video? I see it on the video. I don't remember actually making contact. And as soon as you did that, these boys jumped out of their tubes to get away from you, right? You remember that? Yeah. And you held on to their tubes so that their tubes couldn't float away. For how long? Well, I'm asking you. You did? Yeah, it looks like for a brief one second. And you were searching through their tubes. Or what? You walked around their tubes. 
rather than letting their tubes go so they could get back in their tubes and be on their way, you walked around their tubes. So after my goggles dropped in the water, I went around their tubes to go to the other side and look for, for, for my goggles. Let's talk about your goggles for a second because you told the police, specifically Lieutenant Hart, that these boys knocked your goggles off your face and that you were looking for your goggles at that point, right? I don't remember my uh, interview with her, correct. But you heard yourself say it in the interview. Yes, yes. And in fact, that nothing of the sort ever happened, right? So the, the interview with, with, uh, with uh, Brandy Hart was not accurate. What you said at the time is what you wanted the police to believe happened, right? That's what I remembered okay. at the time. And from the video, you can see that you actually put your goggles in your mouth so you would have two free hands to be able to grab onto these boys' tubes, right? Yes. So you were preparing for your stumble before it actually even happened? I wasn't prepared for anything. These boys were calling you names to go away, right? After you grabbed onto their tubes, touched their legs. I they, don't remember any of that stuff. All right, you but, don't remember them calling but, you, asking you what you were doing? Watching the videos, yes, but before, but unnatural remembering, no. Uh, do you remember as you're running up, they're saying, whoa, 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 what's he doing? I don't remember that. All right, but you've seen it on the video. Yes. And then once you've made contact with two of these boys' legs and grabbed onto their tubes, they started calling you a pedophile, right? I don't remember when they started calling okay. me a pedophile. Do you remember them calling you a pedophile at all? Or do you just know that from watching the video? Correct. You testified that they were calling you names earlier, right? Right. And that upset you? It did not upset me. Okay. We've talked, your attorneys talked about your comfort scale and your fear scale. Let's talk about your anger scale, okay? Mm -hmm. At the time you were called a raper, what was your anger scale at? Maybe one. One out of ten? Yeah. And that was enough to get you to run up on these boys, grab onto them, stop their tubes at a one. Is that what you're saying? Objection, argument, and that's not what he said. Sustained. You don't like being humiliated, right? Nobody does. Your attorney has said that these boys were humiliating you. Objection as to his making Sustained on the form. You're claiming that you were being taunted? Objection. He did not testify to that. Sustained. Form. You had testified earlier that your shoes, there was problems with your shoes, but as you can see from the portion of the video we played so far, that didn't, those shoes didn't prevent you from running up on these boys, right? Yes, they did. There was, if I had better shoes, you know, I could walk better, but I, I could still walk. If you had they better shoes, you would have been able to run up on them faster? No, I mean, I could walk better. I wouldn't stumble. I wouldn't have a hard time walking. All right, we're going to watch the video again, and I want you to, if you can, point out for everybody where you stumbled. What is he on? Whoa! 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 Get away! Did you watch it? Yes. So the stumble, is that something you remember or something that you think you see in the video? Something I, I remember. After you grabbed onto their tubes, stopped them, walked around their, their tubes, you took a few steps down river and stood in the path they were floating in, right? Has to form multiple. Overall, do you understand the question, Mr. Mew? 
Could you say it again? After you left their tubes that mm -hmm. first time, you took a few steps downstream and stood in their path where they would need to float, where they were floating, right? For a few seconds, yes. You didn't walk off to the south shore, which was close at that point, right? I, I thought I walked farther, far away from them that they, I mean, I didn't even watch them anymore at that point. So I don't know where they were in, in uh, you know, at that point in time. But I was still looking for my goggles now. Are you denying that you stood right in the path of their tubes? Overruled. You can answer the question. At that moment in time, yes. Now, when you ran up on these boys and grabbed onto their tubes and made contact with their legs, you weren't saying anything at that point, right? No. You didn't say anything like, hey, I think that's my phone or Ariel's phone? I don't remember saying no. anything. Well, you've seen the video. Right. You just ran up and grabbed onto them, right? It appears that. Was saying nothing. We can go up to the screen. We're going to look at some more frames here. We're starting 22nd mark, I believe. You stood in front of their tubes, right? This is at the 23 second mark. For a brief uh, moment. All right, keep going. Stop. At that point, you had the entire river open to move in any direction, right? Right. And you chose to just walk a few steps directly downstream from where their tubes were, right? Correct. The boys were yelling at you at this point, right? You remember that? Yep. They were making a commotion, right? They were loud. Mm -hmm. And that attracted the attention of the folks in the Carlson group, right? Mm -hmm. um, you've testified that uh, Maddie, Maddie Cohen walked over, right? Yep. You walked towards her? Right? Yes. And the water level at the spot that you had contact with Maddie was about ankle deep from the video? From the video, yes. And you told Lieutenant Hart you were standing in really shallow water, right? Yeah. Maddie told you to leave the area, right? She didn't say, say it that way, but yes. She said, go, go, go. And? She, well, she swore at you too, but she was telling you to go, right? Yeah. You didn't go. I was right. trying to communicate with her what I was doing in the river. You didn't leave, right? No, irrelevant. not down the river. Hold on, hold on. Irrelevant. Legal basis that you Overruled. It's relevant. You did not leave, right? I At didn't the time go that in she the came direction. up and no. When she came up and said, "Go, go, go," you chose to stay, right? I wanted to talk. You didn't like that she was yelling at you, right? I only had like two or three seconds of, of, con of, of direct verbal or whatever. Yeah, and you, you, clearly didn't like, you clearly didn't like she was swearing at you, right? right? And what you told her was not that you were looking for a phone, but that these boys took your goggles, right? I don't remember what I told right. her. If it's on the video, did you say it? If it's on the video, yeah. You never mentioned you were looking for a phone. I don't remember my conversation with her. And in fact, after you told her that they took your goggles, you never said another word, right? After that? Right. Of course I did. Um, talking about your anger scale, at the point where Maddie Cohen was yelling at you and pointing at you and swearing at you, where was your anger scale? One. And even with your anger scale being only one, you started touching, fidgeting with the knife in your pocket, right? 
I don't remember that. Let's take a look at the video. Uh, we're ready. It's, it's timestamp 135. That's you touching your knife in your pocket, right? Correct. And at this point, you've got your back to the two girls who are yelling at you, right? It, it, it's possible. So even though you were fearing for your life, you yeah, turned your hand. Now we said at that time. Overall, let's get the question out. You turned your back on these folks, right? Where am I in that uh, uh, location as reference to the other people? I get to ask the questions at this point. Okay. All right. You're back. At the, at the 135 mark that we just watched, you've mm -hmm. turned your back on these folks, right? Okay. Is that, is that true? Yes, you I saw see it, that. Yeah. Right? You're touching your knife, but you got your back to them, right? I see that in a picture. And so at that point, You wouldn't have turned your back on these folks if you had fear of them, right? Objection mischaracterizes his testimony. Overruled, overruled. You can answer the question. Yes. We'll right. play a Excuse clip here. Next question, please. We're going to play a clip here, Judge. Go back. We're starting at 126. Just play it. We can have the screen. Stopping at 135. So in that clip, that's the point where you had waved at your friends, right? You had turned your back on the groups of people that were in the area, and you're touching your knife, mm -hmm. right? And at that point, you called out to your friends because you were, you're, I think you had said, and maybe I'm wrong, that your fear scale was going up at that point. Is that not right? 
I see lots of people around me, and I wanted somebody to be on my side. Right. Your, your, your fear scale was going up, so you tried to wave your buddies over, right? Creeping up, yeah. And as it's creeping up, you're fidgeting with your knife. I, it appears that way. At some point, And even though your fear level is creeping up at that point and you've called for help from your friends or at least waved for help, you turned your back, right? Yes. At one point, you turn your head and you stare at the group of 17-year-old boys, right? Do you remember doing that? I don't remember, but if I could see a video put it into context, it would have been at the point when Maddie Cohen tried to turn you away from those boys. Do you remember doing that? Yes. And one second, right there. If we can get the frame up. We're at timestamp 116. That's the look that you gave to those boys, right? At that time, at 116? Yes. That's the look on your face. Yeah. That's an angry look. Not to me. I was annoyed, more than frustrated, but not angry. <clears throat> at the point where you, you looked at the boys with that expression on your face, whatever it was, you had the entire river in front of you open to walk to, right? That's true. Correct. And instead you chose to turn back around where Maddie Cohen was, right? I stood my ground. I basically stayed in the same location. Right. I didn't go towards anybody at that point. You, you didn't take a step away either, did you? No. And at that point then, that's when Riley Madison joins her and you've got Madison and Riley standing in front of you, right? I suppose that's the time, yeah. Two girls. Yeah. And these two girls standing in front of you touched your shoulders somewhat, right? Mm -hmm. You never said a yes? Yes. You never stumbled backwards or anything like that? It wasn't a somewhat, but... Well, let's take a look at the video. We're gonna start a little bit earlier than the part I wanted to start at. It's at the 135 uh, mark again, if we can put this screen up. Take the screen down. Starting at 134. So at that point, you're touching your knife before Maddie and Riley are standing in front of you, right? It appears that way. Stop. You had said that your fear level was rising. Mm -hmm. You had moved to your friends, right? That was the look on your face at the time, correct? Mm -hmm. You're smiling. I'm confused. But you're smiling. I'm confused. You're not smiling? That's not a smile. Look, yes, we Let's move on, please. Can we get the screen back? Stop. 
All right, so you had been fidgeting with your knife multiple times. You've got Riley Madison in front of you. I believe her testimony was she's a 115 pound woman. You got Maddie Cohen on your other side. This is when you choose to pull out your knife, right? Overruled. Understand the question? What does her weight have to do with uh, me? Sir, you don't get to ask the questions oh, at this point. Mm -hmm. You pulled out your knife at this point with these two girls standing in front of you, right? Yes. And you held it down by your belt, belt line, right? Yes. And you opened it up, right? Yes. And this is before you had been punched or anything like that. You had that knife ready with these two girls standing in front of you. Objection as to the use of the term girls or women. Women, pardon me. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And you didn't hold it up and say, hey, I have a knife. Right? To me, that would be a threat. Well, I'm not asking you that. You did not hold it up. No. And you didn't. In fact, you held it down by your side. Right? Objection asked and answered. Overruled. Isn't that what you did? Yes. You didn't take a step back and brandish it and say, hey, back up, I have a knife. Right? Correct. You opened it down low, and then you held it down low by your side. Right. Correct. And as you're doing that, you're smiling. Right? That's not a smile. Well, let's take a look I'm, at the I'm, video. I'm, I'm overwhelmed. And annoyed. And that's you holding your knife down by your belt line, right? Yes. When you pulled it out and opened it up, you held it with the blade facing up, right? I didn't pay attention, but in the video, yes. And it, it becomes important later when you are when you stab AJ because you didn't try to cut him down, you cut him up, right? Right? That was not my intent. Overruled. I believe the witness answered the question. You, you had the knife blade up and you're saying you didn't know that? I didn't pay attention. As you're holding it there, you've got your thumb on the bottom of the handle, right? Right? Yeah. Blade up. I see that. Blade's pointing at, looks like at Maddie Cohen, right? Yes. Nobody else, I'll strike that. After you opened that knife, would it be fair to say that your fear level went down a little bit because now you had your knife open? No. All right. But was your fear level going up at that point? I think you said that earlier. The, the whole situation is, it was boiling up. So when you have your knife open, you take a couple steps step backwards to get away from the situation? I stood my ground. I stayed in place. You never backed up one step, did you? No. You had your knife out and you were prepared to use it. To defend myself. At that point, there's nothing to defend yourself from, right? I didn't know that. If I understand your testimony today, now you're acknowledging that you did do something to Maddie Cohen which started off this fight, right? Objection, argumentative. Overruled. You can answer the question. Objection, please, Yes.
All right. Uh, Mr. Smestad, would you please uh, rephrase the question? I will, Your Honor. You're testifying today that you did actually make physical contact with Maddie Cohen, right? Before you were punched or anything else, right? I may have. You don't I, remember I, that? Well, I remember what I said, but I went over to push. She was in, right in my, my face, right in my space, yelling. And I could smell the alcohol in her breath. But you had been drinking too, so it might have been your breath? I didn't have vodka and all the other garbage. My right. point is, today you testified that you did something physical to Madison Cohen before you were punched, right? Mm. Correct? I didn't, I don't know if I touched her or not. It's possible that I did. If your friend Sergio testified last week that he saw you push her and she went flying back a couple of steps, that's what happened, right? Objection as to form sustained. Were you present when Sergio testified? Objection mm -hmm. as to form irrelevant sustained. After you pushed Maddie Cohen, only one person ever punched you, right? From the video? Right. That's what I see. I, I don't remember what happened then at that time. I'm not asking you what you remember. Yeah. I'm asking what actually happened. I got punched. Objection, no foundation. Sustain, rephrase the question, start. You saw in the video that only one person ever punched you, right? Yes. Objection. It's crossed. It's not leaving. Yes. Objection sustained. Let's move on. You testified that you went down and you fell down in the water when you were punched, right? Yes. And you indicated, I think, that you were punched in your jaw, I think on your left side of your body? Yes. You testified that you fell back in the water and hit your head, right? Yes. You did not drop your knife. No. Right? You held on to it when you fell down into the water. Yes. When Dante Carlson hit you, he was holding a can of beer in one hand, right? Yes. He was fighting you with one hand. Yes. You... never suffered any kind of bruising or cuts to your face from this incident, right? On the inside of my cheek? You cut the inside of your cheek? Yes. Yeah, you never had any bruising on your jaw, right? I don't remember. I mean, I had a beard, I couldn't tell. You weren't bleeding from your face anywhere? No, not that I know. Um, Once you're knocked down in the water, A.J. Madison comes up to you and press, pushes on your back, right? Objection, no foundation. Sustained. We'll play the video.
You were pushed in the back by A.J. Madison, right? Objection, no foundation. Overruled. In response, you got up out of the water, right? Mm -hmm. You take your knife in your right hand, put the blade up, right? Objection is in narration. Time. Overruled. That's what you did, right? Still in my hand, yes, that way. You, you jabbed it into his belly. About the same time he hit me in the throat. That's not what I'm asking. Yes. You jabbed it into his belly, right? Yes. Instead of pulling it out, you pulled up, right? Because I had so much time to think about it. You pulled up. I did not pull up. Okay, I look, look at the angle of my arm. We're at, we're stopped at timestamp 156. You see your knife? Yes. And how close it is to his jaw, his chin? Yes. That's because when you stabbed him, instead of pulling out, you went up, right? I was falling backwards with the knife in my, arm, in my hand and the angle of my arm was about the same. I, I got, just got hit in the throat. In this frame of the video, the knife's pointing straight up, right? Yes. You went in, pulled up, and it's, it's, by the time you got done up by his face, your knife's pointing straight up. Objection asked. Sorry. Overruled. You can answer the question. It's straight up. At that point, Tony Carlson came in to break up the fight. Objection, right? speculation. He doesn't know what Tony Carlson's doing. Overruled. You can ask the question. He can answer. I don't know what he was doing. You're, you know that he told Dante Carlson to back up, right? Objection, no foundation. Overruled. Do I know from video and from testimony? Yes. At the time, I didn't know. In. After you stabbed A.J. Badison, you were pushed back into the water, right? Pardon me. No, it's not. It's not. AJ Martin. It's AJ Madison. AJ Car He's not AJ part of the Carlson family. AJ Martin. AJ Martin. Thank you. Pardon me. After you stabbed AJ Martin, you were pushed back into the water, right? Yes. Nobody jumped on top of you. No. Nobody was kicking at you or punching you. No. You're just in the water by yourself, right? Apparently, yes. We're going to take a look at the video starting at 1, 155. That's you in the water, still holding your knife, right? Pardon me, this is before you, you got up. At this point, you're standing there. There's nobody hitting you, nobody's punching you, nobody's kicking you, right? Objection, that's... Not standing. Gentlemen, please come up. Let's continue. Next question, please. In any event, you were sitting in the water after A.J. Martin pushed you over, right? I landed on my, on my butt in, right. in, in, uh, in the river. But at that point, the fight didn't continue. People weren't punching on you, right? I, at that time, I couldn't tell what was going sure. on around me. That's at the point that Tony Carlson came over was yelling at people to back up. Do you remember that? From the video. You don't, you don't have a memory of that in your head? 
he, he separated Dante from you, right? Objection, mm -hmm. no foundation. All ruled. Right? If it's from my memory, I don't remember that. Tony Carlson never punched you, correct? Correct. He never kicked you, never pushed you. Objection. Overruled. No. And you turned around and you stabbed him twice, right? I couldn't see. I couldn't hear. I didn't know who was punching me, touching me, shoving me, nothing. I was fearing for my life. You stabbed the guy who tried to break up the fight twice, right? Objection. Form. Overruled. That's what happened, right? That's what happened. And luckily for him, he was able to block your first stab, so you stabbed him again, right? I had milliseconds to think. Riley Madison, after you stabbed Tony Carlson, you turned around, you got up, you turned around, and you sliced Riley uh, Madison through the her left side of her body, right? Yes. She wasn't punching you or kicking you. She came at me and she had her hands on me. At the time you stabbed her, she had your hands, her hands on you. Yes. This, this, this 115 pound woman attacked you while you're standing there holding a knife. She could have been 500 pounds. I don't know, I, you, I'm sorry, sir, but I, you, I- You've never told anyone ever that Riley Madison attacked you and that's why you stabbed her, right? No. You're saying it today for the first time. I don't remember this whole thing. After you stabbed Riley Madison, Isaac Schumann tries to push you, right? And he lands his hands on my throat, yes. Yeah, but his hands originally weren't anywhere near your throat. They were on your shoulder and your chest, right? I didn't take measurements. Or, but yeah, from the, from the picture, yes. And as soon as he touches you, you stab up into his heart with your knife, right? Objection, no foundation. Overruled. He went for my throat, and I defended myself, yes. Are you saying, let's, we're gonna look at the video. We're gonna start at 202 and for anybody who doesn't wanna watch, you might wanna avert your eyes. We're at 205, the, the timestamp on the video. That's Isaac Schumann, right? If right, you know, right. His left hand on your arm, right? Right. His right hand on your chest, right? Right. They're not on your throat. In that particular uh, frame? Correct. And your right hand is cocked. Your elbow's bent, right? Okay. And you've got the knife in your hand? Yes. Let's play it through, please. <laughs> and as he's pushing you, you jam your knife up into his heart, through his ribcage, right? After he touches my throat and pushes me back, yes, correct. As your arm is moving up to stab him, you actually moved his arm closer up your, or farther up your body with your own movement, right?
I don't know how to answer that. I, I didn't see that. At the time that this incident happened, you agreed you weighed 248 pounds? Yes. Not one of these people that you stabbed so far in the video were armed in any fashion, right? Right. You told an elaborate story about people pour, pulling knives on you, right? Objection, argumentative as to form. Overruled. Right, you made up that story. To Brandy Hart? To Lieutenant Hart, yes. I don't remember that, but I saw the, the video, yes. At no point did anybody pull any knife on you, right? Correct. You're the only person who had a knife. Correct. You had said earlier that you had waved for your friends to come over because you were so scared, right? Right? During the, we're moving back in time now? Well, yeah, earlier you had waved. We yes. saw the video. You said yes. you waved to your friends because yes. you were scared. Your fear level was at whatever. And in fact, Ariel came over, right? Yes. And he's in the group at the point that Riley Madison's standing there bleeding into the river, right? He's yes. standing right behind yep. him. Yep, yep. And at the time that you stabbed Tony Carlson, Ariel's right there, right in the group, correct? I see that in the video, yes. And when you stabbed Isaac Schumann, he's also standing there, right? I didn't see him there at the time, but yes, in the video, yes. Yeah. So this narrative about it being 13 on one, you had a friend there, Objection right? <laughs> Your friend was standing I, right there. He's in the I, video, right? In the video. I don't remember him being there. But you saw him coming, walking downstream. I don't remember. You waved for him, right? I waved at my group. At no point when you stabbed Tony, Riley, and Isaac, did you call out to your friend and say, hey, help me, they're attacking me, right? Even though he's in the frame and you can, he's close to the, the action, so to speak. You never said that, right? I was stunned, I had, couldn't talk. The last person you stabbed was Dante Carlson, right? Yes. And this is in the sequence of events, everything else had happened, right? Yes. Sustained. All the other stabbings had already occurred, right? At the point that you stabbed Dante Carlson. Yes. He wasn't punching you at that point. I was surrounded, people were coming at me. I was very, I just came, came up a couple of times being punched in the head, punched in the mouth. I fell on, on river rocks, I was in pain, I was hurting. Tony Carlson had broken up the fight between you and Dante, I, and Dante never hit you again after that, did objection. he? Objection, that's form. Sustained form, please rephrase. At the point that you stabbed Dante Carlson, he was not fighting with you, right? Correct. He had not punched you immediately before you decided to stab him. Correct. In fact, you took a couple steps toward him to stab him, didn't you? I thought he was attacking me.
So at that point, you stabbed five people and you decide to leave the area. Is that true? I walked away. You walked up um, to Ernesto, right? Yes. You didn't say anything about being attacked, right? I didn't, I was in shock. You said they took my knife, right? To Ernesto? I don't remember said? that, but that's what I said according to all the video and... Well, if, if Ernesto said that, that's yes. what he said. Yeah. You still got the knife on your person, right? Even though you just told them they took your knife, you still had it. Right? No. When I, when I reached the tubes? No, no. When Ernesto, Ernesto came walking up and you walked up to him, you told him they took my knife. It's the first thing out of your mouth, right? That's, I don't remember that. Okay. Instead of walking to your group, you walked up to the south side, south shore of the lake, of the river, right? Yes. And on the way, you washed off the knife in the river? I don't remember that. Well, you had blood on your hand and on the knife, right? Yes. When you left the, the, the area, right? Yeah. When you got back to your group, nobody saw any blood on your hands, or, right? Foundation. Sustained. At some point, you rinsed your hand and the knife in the water, right? I don't remember that. Okay. But, yeah. well, what you do remember is throwing the knife up into the bushes on the south bank. Right on the bank, yes. And then you finally walked over to your group, right? As I was walking, I threw it away, yes. No, mm -hmm. no. You walked out of your way to get to the south bank to get rid of it and then walked back across the river to your group, right? Overruled. That's what you did, right? Yes. We're going to take a play the video taken by Larry and Davis, Judge. It's it's grainy, but it's of some value. You have many more questions? Yes. Right. Well, maybe this will be a good time to, to take a break. Let's recess, and we'll come back at two fifty. Please take the jury out. All rise for the jury. Mr. Smestad. Um, Mr. Mio, I want to ask you some more questions about the stabbing of Dante Carlson. Is it fair to say that you did not know that Larry and Davis was recording that part of it? No. And you've seen that, that video here in court? Yeah. Um, you are the person in the dark shorts, correct? In the, that video? It was not very clear, so I couldn't make out who was who. All right, if there's a person wearing dark shorts with the same body type as you in the video, is it you? Fair. Hold on, hold on. Sustained. Well, let's, we're going to watch the video. Yeah. We're going to watch it through at full speed. Yes, great sound noise. We're going to play part of it, but slower, but not the, not the end part. We're ready. What's the time for yeah. zero? This is at the very beginning. Mr. Mew, do you see yourself in the left-hand side foreground wearing the dark shorts where the, where the cursor's pointed? I can't make out. You don't know if that's you? No. Did anyone else on the river have the same body shape that you had at the time? Objection, no foundation. Sustained.
you've been in court since the beginning of the trial, right? Correct. You've seen all these people testify. Yes. The people that were all involved in the incident, right? Yes. At the time that you stabbed these folks, there wasn't anybody else in that area of the river that had the same body shape as you, correct? Objection, no foundation. Sustained. It's the same question. You're, you're aware that Dante Carlson's wearing uh, shorts that are black on the bottom and light gray on top, right? That's what I learned. We're going to go through it slowly. Yes. Objection sustained, lack of foundation. In any event, after you uh, got rid of the knife on the south side of the river, you walked back to the north side of the river where your group was in the, uh, at the sandbar, right? Yes. Sat in your tube? Did you sit down in your tube? Yes. Um, Eric Williams from your group, realizing that people were hurt, left. Objection form his lack of foundation that Eric Williams S sustained. Did you see Eric Williams leave your group? No. At some point, did you notice he wasn't with your group anymore? I didn't do a head count, sir. Sorry. Okay. Um, did anyone else from your tubes go to help with the folks on the river that were hurt? No foundation. Overruled. Oh. Can answer the question. I don't remember. I wasn't paying attention to anybody in my group. When you went back to your tube, um, you put your shirt back on, right? I was cold, yes. And then you put on your, your hat, right? Yes. And your sunglasses? Yes. Eventually, you saw police officers and emergency medical technicians show up on the river, right? Yes. Wading up the river. Right? Yes. Trying to help people that had been injured and... Objection, no foundation. Overruled. You saw that happen, right? Yes. You didn't approach anybody to, to say you were attacked, as far as law enforcement or EMTs or anything like that, right? No, I just pooped myself. I was afraid to go in that area. Even I'm though sorry. there's police presence everywhere, you were afraid to walk over there and tell them, hey, this is what happened. Yes, sir. So you got in your tube and you floated down the river. Not immediately, we waited there. We had people, from what, I, from what I learned, not that I remember, that called 911 and yeah. I don't remember any of that stuff. So I don't remember. So you had, do you remember waiting for Eric Williams to come back to join your group so you could leave? I don't remember. All right, do you remember saying, let's go? You yourself saying that? Objection asked and answered cumulatively. Overruled. Overruled. I don't remember. Uh, Ernesto uh, Torres, he's your best friend? Yes. Uh, you didn't tell him what happened as you were floating away? I didn't talk to him. I, I don't remember talking to anybody. I don't even remember going down, down the river or up the river. I was just stunned. I don't remember anything. You, you didn't tell Ernesto, I was afraid for my life and I did this? No. You never told Ernesto that you know, I acted in self-defense? I didn't. I don't remember talking to anybody. You didn't or, say I was, a, I was afraid they were going to kill me, these folks? Objection, no foundation. He said he doesn't. I don't remember.
as you were leaving the area, you saw folks giving CPR to Isaac Schumann, right? I didn't see that. All right. Eventually, you made it down to Village Park where the exit was, right? Eventually. And there's some video of you relaxed in your tube, kind of playing in the water with your, your hand, right? Objection is to form. Sustained. Do you remember seeing the video of you? I remember seeing the video. Relaxing in your tube before you got back to the end? Objection is to form. Sustained. Did you see the video or not? I said I did. When you got to Village Park, your group exited the river, right? Yes. There was multiple police in the area, right? Yes. You saw a uniformed officer with his gun drawn uh, walking towards you, right? Right. No, you didn't approach that officer. <laughs> I was afraid of everybody. You were, afraid that, you were afraid of the officer? I was afraid of anything and everybody. I was afraid of anything. I, I, could, I, couldn't, I was still in shock, so I was afraid of everything, yes. Um, you didn't approach the officer and say, they tried to kill me, I defended myself, nothing like that, right? I don't remember saying anything like that to anybody. You walked right by him, right? All that is, is a blur. I don't remember it. Uh, once you got further up the path, the other officers were able to pick you out of your group, right? Apparently, yes. They, they stopped you, right, before you could leave the park? I don't remember that. You, you I mean, don't remember the police stopping you and detaining you in the park after this <coughs> incident? I remember being stopped, but I don't remember the details. Sure. The, you were aware that the police had a picture of you from the river, right? Okay. Do you remember that? I don't remember. Do you remember the police had to take your hat and glasses off to make sure that it was you in the picture? Nope. I was focused on one thing only. The, somebody with a, with a bat that I've seen in the woods and across that whatever bridge, the little bridge, Rainbow Bridge, whatever. I was, I, was, I was focused on him. I was very afraid of that person. Did you ever say to an officer, hey, there's a guy over there with a bat and that's concerning me. Can you do something about it? No. You're put into a squad car, right? Mm-hmm. Said yes? Yes. Sheriff Knudsen came over to make sure you were comfortable, right? I saw that in the video, yes. You don't remember talking to Sheriff Knudsen? No. You remember him asking you, well, if you don't remember, you don't remember. We're going to play that video, and then I have some questions for you. <clears throat> Your Honor, this is the longer version of the video that's been referenced. It's a minute and 59 seconds. House, when you're ready. Camera recording started. Still doing all right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What's going Temperature? on? Here? Temperature's okay in here? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Somebody, uh, I hear somebody got stabbed. Uh, and I fit the description. Yes, you do. All right. Yep. So we're working sure. through that now. Did you see that fight on the river? I heard about it. You heard about it? Yeah, and I've seen people gather around it. Okay. All right. And I went over to talk to see if somebody saw anything, but that's about it. Okay. Our whole group was pretty interested in finding out what happened. Okay. And that's your whole group over there? Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. So I don't know. Okay, well. Did you see anybody injured? No. You didn't see anybody injured? No. Did you see anybody fighting? I, I heard people screaming at each other, yes. Okay. Yeah. Screaming in anger or screaming in pain, do you know? Everybody's drunk, so I don't know. I can't tell the difference, but I would say... I don't know. Just screaming. Okay. You know, yeah, calling each other names. But, you know, that's, I've seen that all day. And we've all been drinking a lot. I'm sure they're drunk. I'm sure they're doing... I don't know. Okay. Kids being kids. Kids being kids. Where where are you where's your group from? 
Where did you drive from today? Oh, I drove from uh, um, Prior Lake. From Prior Lake. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I didn't, we didn't drive with you. Okay. Okay. Your we'll wife and you? Yeah. And you met the group here? Uh, yeah, but we know each other. Okay. All right. As long as the temperature is good, I'll check back with you in a minute, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Like Sheriff Knudsen, right? I don't remember that conversation, Jeez. but yes, you you, you, I, in fact, you told him that you heard there was a stabbing, right? I don't remember any of this stuff. You're fishing for information about what happened, right? I, I don't know what you could say. I was fishing. I, I don't know. I you know. asked him some questions about what had happened, right? Again, I don't remember this conversation. But you were pretending that you didn't know what happened. Is that true? No. <clears throat> At the point that you're talking to Sheriff Knudsen and saying these things, you didn't know there was a video of what happened on the river, did you? I didn't know whether I was dead or alive at that point. She also didn't know that, you, that there was a video, right? No. When the sheriff asked you what had happened, one of your responses was it was kids being kids, right? I don't remember any of that conversation. You just heard yourself say it on the video, though. So... Objection, no foundation. I'll move on. Um, uh, prior to being taken to jail, you were transferred from that squad car that you were in to a different squad car, right? Remember that? You remember at some point uh, Deputy Thomason telling you that you were under arrest for homicide and attempted homicide? I don't remember any remember of that. that. When you spoke with Lieutenant Hart, even though you'd been informed that you were being arrested for homicide, you pretended to know that, to not be aware that someone had died, right? Right? When you were talking to Lieutenant Hart, you... Over here at the jail? Yeah. I don't remember any of that conversation. You don't recall pretending to not be aware that someone had died? Objection assumes a fact. Sustained. When you're talking to Lieutenant Hart, that was about four hours after you'd been arrested, right? Yeah, that's what I learned. And said you had time to put together a story, right? No. Overall. You had four hours to come up with a story about what happened on the river before you were interviewed by Lieutenant Hart, right? No. You didn't have that time. I didn't put a story together. So when you told her things like, two of these boys pulled knives on me, you're telling the truth? No. That was a story, right? Correct. And when you said that you somehow managed to grab one of the boy's arms and bend their wrist back and stab them with their own knife, that's a story you made up, right? I told her what I remembered. You remember doing that? No, I, everything I told her is what I remembered at that time. At the time you told her these things, you, you thought that you would grab someone's arm and stab them with their own knife? As you can see, I was very confused. Did you not testify earlier that you lied about the knife? That I, I, I did. And that I, nobody, I, nobody else had a knife on the river except for you? That I lied about the knife. So it's impossible then for you to have twisted someone's arm and stabbed them with their own knife, right? I saw the video. No, I'm asking what you said it's, to Lieutenant Hart. I don't remember the interview, but I saw the video. And so you're aware. And I, I, I know that it's not right. It's not true. Not just a couple of little lies, but lie on top of lie to Lieutenant Hart, Objection. right? Argumentative. Sustained. Well, let's talk about some of the things you told her. You said, these boys took these, the goggles off my head and threw them down the river, right? You told her that? If that's what 
The video recorded, yes. All right, you told them, you told her that these boys tried to pull down your shorts, right? That's what I saw in the video, but I don't remember the interview. That's a detail you added for your benefit, right? No. You said these boys attacked you, right? You told her that multiple times, right? I saw the video. Did you say that or not? Yes or I no? I said that in the video, yes. And, and you knew that wasn't true, right? So in the video, I lied, I, I totally lied about the, 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 the knife. Um, I, I, I didn't remember a lot of details. I didn't remember a, a, of anything. I don't even remember the interview. I just, looking at the video, it's, it's, I can look at it like anybody would look at it for the first time. I don't remember any of that. You told Lieutenant Hart that these boys told you, don't run away from us. You remember saying that? No. In fact, it's just the opposite. They were telling you to go, right? I don't remember. You told her that a second boy had a knife, attacked you with the knife, and you took that from him, right? That's what I saw in the video. That's not true either, right? Right? That's not true. You said that when you walked back to your group, and this is talking to Lieutenant Hart, that Ernesto asked you if you had found the phone, right? Remember I, saying that to her? I don't remember any of that conversation but, I had with her. Yeah, that wasn't true either, right? If this is all part of that interview, I don't remember anything, yeah. so. That's what we're talking about. We're talking right. about the interview with Lieutenant Hart. Then I don't remember the interview. Okay, I still get to ask you questions about sure. it. Sure. You were specifically asked, did you have a knife, right? Do you remember being asked that? I don't remember that, but I know I was. Your answer to Lieutenant Hart was no, no, absolutely no, right? Right. Which I lied, I know I lied about the knife. You said to her, why did they want to scare me with a knife, right? Talking about the boys, I mean, the 17 year olds, when none of them ever had a knife, right? Is that right? Apparently not. You said I grabbed it, meaning the knife, from him because he tried to poke me with it. Do you remember saying that? Nope. You said a woman hit you in the ear. Do you remember saying that? Nope. You know that's not true, right? Objection, foundation. World. You know that's not true as you sit here now, right? Right. You told the cop, the police, and Lieutenant Hart, I think, that you thought it was two different groups of people fighting against each other, right? I don't remember telling her that. Right. You know, as you sit here today, that that is complete. Completely made up, right? Again, I don't remember any of that that you're talking about right now, if it's told, about the interview. You told Lieutenant Hart that you wanted to stay in the area and you know, watch the police come in and arrest these people for fighting, right? That's what you told Lieutenant Hart? That's what's in the transcript, yes. When you were told that a person had died, your response was, is it because they fought each other? That's what you told her, right? That's how you responded? If it's in the transcript? 
but I don't remember. You, you never told Lieutenant Hart that you, that you punched or pushed or did anything to Maddie Cohen, right? You left that part out? Is that what it's in there? Then I'm asking if you ever told her that. I don't remember. You didn't mention that you had stabbed and severely injured another woman, uh, Riley Madison. You didn't mention that to Lieutenant Hart, right? Objection form. Overruled. You never mentioned that part. I don't remember. You didn't mention uh, being strangled at, at any point, right? If that's the, the transcript, then that we go by that, but I don't remember that interview. And I think what you said earlier is that you were afraid you were going to die from being strangled, and that's why you stabbed Isaac Schumann in the heart, right? That was your testimony early, earlier? Didn't you say that today, this afternoon here in court? Yes. That's not anything you mentioned to any police officer, right? If Just, I didn't mention, I didn't mention it. I don't remember that. That's, that's not an important detail that you thought you might want to point out? Objection argument. Everything is a, every detail is important. We all know that. But I don't remember saying any of those things to Lieutenant Hart. Because you didn't say them, right? That's why you don't remember. Because what? You didn't say those things to her. That's why you don't remember, correct? I, I don't remember what I said or what I didn't say to her. I don't remember even having an interview with her. So you can't remember anything about what you told her but when Mr. Nelson's asking you questions, you can remember all these feelings you had at the time. Is that true? Overruled. Do you remember answering his questions about how you were feeling that day? The feelings I had when I, being, I was attacked? And, and when you were meeting with the Lieutenant Hart? Objection. Yes. <clears throat> Objection sustained. Please rephrase the question. You testified today a lot about remembering what you were feeling that day, right? Mm -hmm. When Mr. Nelson was questioning you, right? Mm -hmm. Is that a yes? Yes. But when you're asked other details that might not be so useful, you don't remember them, right? Certain feelings and certain, they, they stick to you forever. Ones they that are affect helpful you. to your defense, those stick to you, right? Sustained. You're examined by the jail nurse, uh, the, pardon me, the, the SART nurse, several hours after the incident, right? Yes. You never mentioned to her that you had been strangled, right? Didn't mention to her a, a lot, sure. not because I intentionally didn't want to do it. I didn't remember. I was sh still in shock. You didn't mention anything about your throat hurting? I don't remember what I mentioned to her. I understand. You never at any point told anybody other than today that you, you had a sore throat or your throat was sore from after this incident, right? You didn't tell anybody? I... At any point during the day after you were arrested, when you're interviewed with people, when the jail or the SART nurse is talking to you, you never once said, oh, my throat is sore because... Isaac Schumann strangled me, right? I don't remember what I told those guys either. I was, like I said, I don't remember a lots of the inter interaction I had with uh, anybody here at, at the jail. But today, yeah. almost two years later, you remember that the next day your throat hurt. That's yes, because I, 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 yeah. And my back. You I can still remember have, that detail, but none of, not the other details? Yeah, my, my back still hurts right now. 
the SART nurse specifically asked you when she was doing the exam, where are you hurt? And you pointed out some things to her, right? I may have. Yeah, but you never once said I had been strangled, I have an injury to my throat, my throat hurts, nothing like that. I don't remember. When she asked you what hurt, you said your butt hurt from the rocks. That's, that was your response to the nurse, right? I don't remember. You had said that um, you know, you're, not, you're in poor health, or you were at least in poor health back on July 30th of 2022. You had had your, your bypass surgery two years prior to that, right? Mm-hmm. Is that a yes? Yes. And typically people that have medical procedures like that are given restrictions on what they can do in their activities, right? Yeah. And you apparently weren't restricted from swimming, snorkeling, doing outdoor sports on a river, right? I was for a while, but two years later, lots of the restrictions, I believe, got lifted. Those restrictions got lifted because you, were, you got better, right? I, 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 you can say the doctor makes that decision, but he says if you feel a little better, do as much as you can. Yeah, and, and you were, in fact, snorkeling and swimming and doing things that day, physical activities, right? Snorkeling in 15 inches of water. I was mostly just, I didn't even snorkel, snorkel. That's, that was not a, a lake or a, but I was just, my whole plan for the day was to just float down the river and relax. You're able to run, at least you were back on July 30th of 2022, right? Run? You were able to run at that time, right? You weren't restricted from running. I mean, you didn't have a medical restriction to keep you from running, right? Not in, no. And in fact, you did run when you ran up on Isaac Schumann's group, correct? You call that run? Okay. That's not a run, but I wasn't running. I'm not allowed, I wasn't allowed to run or do any. Uh, activities like that, so I wasn't running. At the time that this all happened, July 30th, 2022, you felt sufficiently healthy to go off on your own, away from your, well, your wife and your group, to go do snorkeling on your own, right? That's what I felt. I just want to check my notes. I think I'm almost done. If we can have uh, Exhibit 4, Item 10. I'm going to ask Investigator Schultz to actually handle it since it's evidence, physical evidence. Can you retrieve the exhibit? How would it sound? If an uh, investigator can approach the witness, Your Honor. Yes. We're showing you what's been marked as Exhibit 4, I guess Item 10. That's your knife, right? Yes. That's the knife you used to stab these people. That's the knife I used to defend myself with. Yes. you earlier about when you stabbed Dante Carlson you agreed that he was not attacking you at the point that you stabbed him he was the last person stabbed right he attacked me earlier but when you stabbed him Tony Carlson had already broke up the fight right you said you agreed to that earlier at that time everybody that came in contact with me attacked me Anybody who looked at you? No. Anybody that came in contact with me, right. I felt attacked. 
you felt attacked, whether you were being physically attacked or not, right? I was in the, in the, in the uh, uh, moment, so I felt attacked by anybody that had either previously attacked me or was approaching to attack me. So you felt like you could stab folks who were not attacking you at the moment that you stabbed them? Objection. You walked up to Dante Carlson and stabbed him in the belly, right? I did not walk up to Dante Carlson and stab him in the belly. I don't have any other questions, Your Honor. Mr. Nelson.